A former Olympics gymnastics coach accused of sex crimes and human trafficking just took his own life moments ago. He was supposed to surrender today. The 63-year-old John Getter had a former had ties that is to former sports doctor Larry Nasser, who's spending decades in prison for sexually assaulting gymnasts. Getter was head of the coach that is of the 2012 U.S. Women's Team, which won gold. Grant Herms, with our sister station in Detroit, explains the allegations against him. Gettard had agreed to surrender himself to law enforcement earlier today. He was supposed to be in court over video this afternoon, but never showed. And now we know why. Former USA Gymnastics coach and owner of Twist Stars Jim and Lansing, John Gettard, taking his own life just hours after charges were announced against him. Earlier in the afternoon, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel saying Gettard was supposed to be arraigned in Eaton County Court. Gettard never appearing by video as expected. His body was discovered at a rest stop in Grand Ledge. Just hours before, Getter was charged with 20 counts of human trafficking, six of them involving a minor, each carrying a 15 to 20 year prison sentence. He's also charged with criminal sexual conduct, both of those charges with a minor between the ages of 13 and 16. According to the charges, the incidents allegedly occurred in 2012 and the victims were coerced into affected sexual penetration and sustained personal injury. Attorney General Dana Nessel. The victims suffer from uh, disordered eating, including bulimia and anorexia, suicide attempts and self-harm, excessive physical conditioning, repeatedly being forced to perform even when injured, extreme emotional abuse, and physical abuse, including sexual assault. Gettert was also charged with one count of racketeering and one count of lying to a police officer who was investigating claims against disgraced former Michigan State and USA Gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser. The attorney general adamant Gettert was his own case that will not have an impact on their ongoing investigation into Nasser's time at Michigan State. In a statement just a short time ago, Attorney General Dana Nessel releasing a statement reading in part, my office has been notified that the body of John Getter was found late this afternoon after taking his own life. This is a tragic end to a tragic story for everyone involved. Oh, there are still a lot of unknowns in this truly shocking story. A lot of puzzle pieces we still have to put together. But the main thing here is many of those survivors who are planning on giving their testimony and telling their stories in court will likely never get that chance. Grant Herms, Channel 4, The Local Station.